The Honourable Member for Halifax Needham. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And so I'll continue on the, the same theme, students first always. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Premier. As of yesterday, 600 school board employees in the Valley are on strike, fighting for fair wages. This includes many education assistants who provide critical care to students needing extra supports. Despite this essential service they provide, the starting pay for education assistants in the Annapolis Valley Regional Center of Education is minimum wage. With Without their education assistance, these students are not able to go to school like the rest of their classmates. One young student, Brett, heaven, God love him, um, is fighting on the picket line for his right to go to school and for his EA Ashley's right to a fair Question, wage. Please. Mr. Speaker, does the Premier believe these workers are being paid fairly at minimum wage? The Honourable Minister responsible for Labour Relations. Speaker, I know this is a, a significant concern for anybody who's directly involved, whether they be the staff themselves, whether they be the parents of the children, of course the children, Mr. Speaker. And we know the best place for children is to be at a place where they're learning. So, Mr. Speaker, I can't say too much because we believe in the collective bargaining process. And the employer, I know, is ready to get back to the table. That's where a solution will be found, and we encourage that to happen. The Honourable Member for Halifax Needham. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm glad that the Minister stepped up and said a process is good, because, I mean, we've been talking about that at length over the past few days about processes and how it's important. So, Mr. Speaker, also striking are also other school support workers, such as early childhood educators, student support workers, and many others, all of whom play a crucial role in children's lives and in the operation of our schools. This is not an isolated problem to this region. Our, problem ca our province continues to have one of the lowest minimum wages in the, care, uh, in the country, and a government who fails to recognize the value of workers in caring sectors. Strikes are looming in other areas as these wages remain from, far from a living wage. So my question is, with rising inflation and cost of living, these already too low wages have become even more troubling. Why is this government allowing these hardworking and essential Nova Scotian workers to struggle? The Honourable Minister responsible for Labour Relations. Mr. Speaker, I, I know there have been a lot of tables uh, where we've had success. At, we've had a lot of success at the negotiating table. Uh, we've been in office... <laughs> Mr. Speaker, we've been, we've been in office now a little over a year, and uh, there are a lot of successes to point to. And I think this is a government that wants to negotiate, that wants to listen, and I know for, uh, for the union and, and for the workers, one of the big issues is wage parity. And I also know that a solution uh, has been put forth, Mr. Speaker, to achieve that uh, because uh, it's a, something that's important to them. And again, Mr. Speaker, we want to listen, we want to go to the table, we want to find solutions. There you go. 